Why buy diesel fuel when you can harvest your own? A few years ago, fifth generation farmer Steve Camp decided to grow some camelina on his ranch in eastern Washington. It doesn't need a lot of moisture to grow. These days, he presses the camelina seeds into biofuel, producing enough to power his whole operation. This can be done. You know, it really can be done. Uh, at this point, I'm very encouraged. I think it's a very viable project. Steve is not alone, and researchers think homegrown biofuels can take off, not just on the farm, but in the sky as well. A new study by Sustainable Aviation Fuels Northwest, a group that includes Alaska Airlines, Boeing, Washington State University, and the three largest airports in the area, found that the Pacific Northwest has the diverse feedstocks and the infrastructure to develop a sustainable biofuels industry. The 10-month study specifically found potential with oil seeds like camelina, forest residue, algae, and even solid waste. Sustainable aviation biofuels are really a key to the, uh, the growth of the industry. Bill Glover, Boeing's Vice President of Environment and Aviation Policy, says numerous test flights have already shown biofuels perform better than traditional jet fuel. Now the challenge is to ramp up production. And Glover says local is the way to go. It's our belief that local and regional efforts are going to be the, the way that this gets going. Because feedstocks vary, geography varies, public policy varies. And it's on the public policy front that industry leaders say they need the most help to plant the seeds for growth. It's almost like a new industry. And we need some early policy support to get this moving, to encourage the investment that's going to be required and build the infrastructure so that we do have an alternative fuel available at a competitive cost. Bill Ayer, CEO of Alaska Airlines, says compared to cars and trucks, airplanes have fewer energy alternatives. So a steady supply of sustainable biofuels can't come soon enough. Fuel is now our number one expense. We've done a lot with efficiency, with a new fleet of uh, 737s, but efficiency can only go so far. And so we need to look at this alternative source of jet fuel to continue that progress. In 90 days total growing time, you should have yourself a harvestable crop. Steve Camp says he's now a firm believer in renewable sources of biofuel, but he's just one farmer. More people will have to dig in for the effort to really get off the ground. It will take a whole lot of acres of oil seeds in order to be able to do it 100%, but we can certainly make a huge dent in it.